Yo, bro, you on Woo Woo? You kidding me? Everybody's on Woo Woo. Woo Woo. Lots of love, people. We're going all in on Woo Woo. Mark, pop us up a profile page. Susie, write us some posts. Don't you know the uh, Wu Tang clan? Let's get them involved. We need an ethnically ambiguous Woo Woo mascot. Dude, are you still on Woo Woo? Nah, man. My mom's on Woo Woo. I think what happened today was evidence that Alibaba is a rock solid company because usually what happens um, on big liquidity events, um, evidence by Twitter, I mean, look what happened to Twitter when the first liquidity event happened. The stock dropped almost 20% and it had a hard time recovering from there. But today, Alibaba, I really think, showed its resilience in the marketplace today and how strong of a company it is for the long term, given that the stock price didn't really move. I mean, there was a lot of expectation in the last 24, 48 hours that the stock was going to tank today. And, uh, and there was a lot of buoyancy. There was a lot of buying going on in the stock. So I think that, that the general feel of the marketplace, from what I saw out there today, was that for the longer-term investor, this is a great buy. And especially for the shorter-term investor, it's probably a better buy today than it was at the IPO because of the 30% decrease in the stock price since its high. Yeah, and even though it was able to keep its footing today, Alan, as you mentioned, it's down about um, 30%. But aren't you worried? Because a lot of people are dumping right. this stock. Several hedge funds have um, have already dissolved big holdings, and it's only a couple months out from the IPO. So is that a red flag to you? Well, correct. A lot of the hedge funds have dumped the stock, but, re but remember, a lot of the hedge funds are looking for short-term profits on stocks. Um, so if somebody's buying into Alibaba today, they should ask themselves, are you an investor or are you a gambler? Because if you're a gambler, it's not the right stock to be in because the gambler's mentality is usually going to be, I want to get into something quick, I want to make uh, short-term gains on the stock within the next six months to 12 months. I don't think anybody that's looking for a short-term pop on the stock, this is the right place to be. But for those that have at least a three to five year time horizon, there are so much good things going on with this company, evidenced by the last quarter, that it's, uh, you know, as long as you're in for three to five years or longer, it's a fantastic stock to hold. Don't listen to the short-term noise. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of chatter about Alibaba. There's a lot of things that are beat, trying to beat it down. But I really believe time and time again, as, as, uh, as, as time continues, we're going to see some really good gains on this stock. And look, all the, all the, all the banks that came out today and lowered their, their estimates, I think one bank, it might have been Goldman or Deutsche, lowered it from 133 down to about 127. I mean, look where the stock is today. You have phenomenal growth opportunity in the stock if you believe in it in the three to five year time horizon. Right, okay, so it's a drop to heavily from 120 to the uh, 80, 84 plus levels, Alan. What it's going to take to get you into the stock? Correct. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, what was that again? What is it going to take to get you into the stock? Because you don't currently own it, right? Um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't own it because I talk about it a lot in the marketplace, but I'm probably going to be going in pretty, uh, pretty strong in the next six, within the next, uh, within the next couple of days, actually. I expect to take a position on it, talk to a lot of my client and investors about it, um, mainly because uh, all the things that have happened recently that have beat the stock, that the stock price down, like look what happened to the, uh, the Chinese government came down in Alibaba because they want to try to weed out all the counterfeiters, and Jack Ma responded by putting in place about 300 employees, about $150 million worth of investment into infrastructure to get rid of the counterfeiting. That's kind of gone by the wayside. Um, some of the other things that have uh, that have beat the stock down, I think this is near the low, and I've been waiting it, waiting for it to go down to this amount to start taking positions on it. Um, and since the since the, the since the decline that happened over the last couple months.